Okay, people, it is December. Does that work? No. Okay, so it's uh, December 15, 2017 here. I just want to make a, a note that, you know, these lawyers that are like I'm associating with at this point in my life, you know, everybody's telling me to get a fucking lawyer. If I have correspondence with, you know, the Fraser Health Authority lawyer, somewhere in his little email or wherever it is, he'll, he'll advise me to go get a lawyer. If I go to the pro bono part there, that department, they tell me to go get a lawyer, but they don't they don't provide the right kind of lawyer with the with the right mindset in terms of those lawyers don't work on lawsuits. <laughs> they distract away from them. <laughs> right? And you get a a thirty minute window of fifteen minutes of advice. That's not a lawyer. Cops tell you, go get a lawyer. You know, when, when Uncle John went missing and uh, and Brooks, uh, I'm sorry, and when Mark Kane was at that care facility wanting to get the employee's ID number, numbers, so that there was no confusion as to what employees were doing what, right? And they called the cops on them because they didn't want to give out their BC ID number in terms of their employment number so that, you know, that is the person that you're dealing with, you know, not someone with a similar name. And they're telling him to go get a lawyer, knowing that there is no lawyer to get. Right? The one lawyer that I did have helping there for a bit had to step down because the, the bar association was, you know, getting annoyed. Right? And his 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 company wasn't willing to take on a $100,000 uh, pre-entry into a lawsuit. They're looking at 80000 to to 100000 just just to... To get to get the steam engine rolling, that's never mind going down the fucking track with the train. And at that time, they weren't willing to take on that responsibility. So, I don't get help from that lawyer anymore, right? And then when I tried to do a GoFundMe, this is the point of this video, you know, to try and fundraise for a lawyer to have money for a lawyer. That got spammed by the Duncan clan and, you know, their affiliates who's been stalking my YouTube channel ever since Uncle John went missing. As they continue to stalk my channel and try and cause trouble, right, to distract away from what happened to Uncle John and his immediate family. What continues to happen to Uncle John and his immediate family How can these people that are lawyers or associated with lawyers tell me to go get a lawyer when they fuck freaking well know I can't get a lawyer? Right? I can't fundraise for a lawyer. Right? I don't have time to go out in the streets and beg for a lawyer in terms of begging for money to pay a lawyer. Right? You know? That's pretty well established. So I just wanted to point that out. So when people tell me to go get a lawyer, like, they, 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 need, they need to stop being like, um, I, I want to say, and stop being an asshole, because you know that's not going to happen. You know that's not practical to even suggest that. You know, you know, you know that it's um, uh, just wrong. That's bad advice. That is no advice. That's a slap in the face. That's what that is. Go get a lawyer knowing that you can't go get one. Let me smack you again. Let me smack you again. Let me smack you again. Here, let me just smack you one more time. Every time somebody says that to me, it's like a smack in my face. Because they know I can't get a lawyer. They know pro bono's not going to help with a lawsuit. Plain and simple. Right? They, they know that no corporation is, no, no lawyer firm is going to take on a $80,000 to $100,000 uh, lawsuit based on the gray area of the elderly who can be treated like children 
and then confront it and say we released him on his own accord because he was a 30 year old man and quite competent to walk out on his own and never look back even though when we had him we convolted that situation to hide the fact that they were giving him opiates to control his behavior as they were conniving and scheming to take his money for various reasons because it's not just one agenda in there people there's a few agendas in there but it, you know, at the end of the day if he had no money they would have released him out into the community and that's pretty apparent too you don't have to go too far to find a whole bunch of sick homeless people out on the streets with no money young and old and some of those people in wheelchairs so they can't use oh, Uncle John was in a wheelchair so that's why we didn't release him because he, he, he couldn't get up and walk well yeah I wonder why he couldn't get up and walk nobody in those facilities wanted him to walk that's why he couldn't get up and walk because nobody wanted him in those facilities two of them uh, and the third one that he crossed over on the ferry to end up in an emergency didn't want him to walk as everybody's telling me to go get a lawyer knowing there is no lawyer to get that's the point there is no lawyer so that's just bad advice that is no advice that is a smack in the face okay my bad it's actually December 14th 2017 because we know my days are off every day for the last two years anyway. So I just want to point out here, people, do you see this? Right? They gave him a brain scan and a flu shot. Okay? They gave him a brain scan in the Surrey Memorial Hospital within the first two weeks of being there. And they gave him a flu shot within the first week of going to Yale Road Center after he caught a cold there and hadn't recuperated from his uh, fully from that lung infection because they then put him on a puffer because he was congested because he was laying down and sitting he wasn't walking he wasn't being mobile so anyway as you can see I just this is the point of this as you can see right you would think you would think that whoever is doing this would want the truth in terms of the healthcare system not providing proper care to the elderly okay because a lot of elderly people are at risk in terms of going into the hospital for one thing and then getting a battery of tests for a whole lot, a whole lot of other things as symptoms are being created to justify those tests in other words they gave him an opiate that made him more loopy loopier than when he was when he went in right and then they use that as an excuse to start conniving about how they could steal his money this is the team and they needed a way to justify that so you know give them a brain scan so they can convince themselves and anybody else that they talk to that that was why he was confused because the brain scan said so in terms of he has white matter at age 75 in his brain. But we won't blame it on a heavy dose of opiate pain medication that his body was unfamiliar with for uh, 20 years. All right. They don't like that one either. Legal will. This is suffering. They don't like to be reminded that John has a legal will that is unaltered and manipulated for the purpose of fraud right because the only people who don't want to know the truth people are the people that are going to get into trouble right that's that's the only people that don't want the truth getting out 